Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Illustrator. I'm using the transform feature to create some white to black, black to white gradients right across the image, this artboard. So first thing to do is to start right from the beginning. So select a rectangle tool. Now, of course, by default, you'd probably end up when you draw that, you just get black like that. Just a very standard rectangle. If you want a gradient, what you need to do is go like the swatches and down the swatches and you can find that in window. So appearance, all these sort of things, swatches, all in the window here. Then select here and you've got your gradient there. Now, always the way, the gradient's going the wrong direction. I don't want it to go across. I want it to go down. So start at the top, hold down the shift and draw down or up the other way. Doesn't matter. White to black. Now, once you've done that, what you can do, you can obviously move it around, but you can apply an effect, a transform. Now, you can also use object and repeat and grid. Quite useful as well. But I'm not going to use that in this because I'm going to keep it so you can use it in 2020, 2019, etc. So now what you can do, effect, distort and transform, and transform. Uh, makes sense. Now if you select the stroke by accident, it will not work. It needs to be on the fill, or the whole thing. So now previews on, and then move this across. So as you move that across, you'll see that move. What I want is a copy. I'm going to go there to one initial and now I can drag it across and you can see as I do that it moves across that way and you can obviously make certain you don't get any gap that's so all about there I think there's no gap there well once you've got that what you're going to do is go to reflect Y so reflect Y and you've got then white to black black to white now of course that's fine but you can also just repeat it say 12 so you can see it's just repeated all the way across. Actually, I can't get to that now. What I can do, let's put it at 16. Yeah, OK. Click OK. So that's that. Now, you don't have to go any further. If, you, if that's what you want, nice black and white stripe, that's the design. But you, of course, can extend it even further. So you can resize this design. Just go down there, and you can resize it. And I'm just going to create a... You could do that, obviously, create it up there. And then, of course, what you can do, you can use the same feature to apply here. Go downwards. So with that, you can go to Effect and Distort and Transform, and you can go down to Transform here. And it will come up with a, a message. Personally, I would click Don't Show Again, but for, because of tutorial purposes, I keep it active. I don't really want to, because apply, yes, I want to apply another... Right, I don't know why it always, Illustrator and Photoshop love dialogue popping up, telling you things. No, just go. I know. Now, what you can then do is, I'm going to say 12 down now. Without changing it, I want to go vertical. And you can see straight away when I do that, I've got this design going down. And you can see you can create a nice design like that, which I think is quite nice. You can also, of course, try out other things. You can say reflect. Of course, in that case, it's not going to be of any use. See so reflect. That slightly shuff, shuffles when you do reflect X. Or random. Not much use either. But you can always just quickly try them. But I'm happy with that. That's the design I want anyway. Now, you can also, of course, modify this. I don't want to do that, but you can if you want. Now, what I want to do, I want to apply an envelope to the whole thing. So I'm going to expand it. I'm going to expand it now. I'm not going to do any further work. I'm not going to change anything. So I'm just going to go to Object and Expand Appearance. So I've got the whole design now like that. And what I can then do, I can go to Object and I can go to Envelope Distort and I can use Make with Top Object or Make with Warp. Now, let's just make a top object. So let's just select an ellipse. Select the lips there and select all of those. Everything's selected now. And that's the top object, that circle. Object and envelope distort and make with top object. And then you've got your design there. So you've got your nice spherical design, which of course you can move around and make it a bit bigger than that. Up to you. 
what you want to do. Now, if you want to, you can, of course, recolor it, do a very variety of other things if you want. And of course, what you can also do, you can turn it into a symbol. Maybe let's just, let's just do that. Just quickly go to symbol, uh, symbols over here. So that's window and symbols. And you can simply just drag it into there and just quickly add it as a new symbol. Must be expanded. Okay, do it. Thank you. I love the way that Illustrator has to tell you again, explain that it's doing something. Now, select that design. And then you of course can go over to the symbol sprayer tool and you can simply apply your symbols and you can create some very weird and wonderful designs very quick and easy and of course what you can also do because you've got the symbol sizer like hold down the keys and it actually to be honest it's probably going to take a bit of processing power to reduce that but you can resize it you can rotate the designs and so on and so on so I'm just going to remove all of those. So a symbol, again, you can simply drag it on there and you can modify it. And of course, like I say, you can always add additional, maybe go over here to appearance, key panel here, appearance, and you can always go to the right side, add new fill. So you've got black on top of it, that defaults to black. Well, I don't want black. I'm going to go for, say, orange. Now, of course, you still can't see it, but you can always go to opacity and you can go, say, darken, multiply, color burn, difference, and so on. So you can go through a variety of lighten, not much use, overlay, not much use either. Personally, just darken, just as reasonable. And you can see you've got now a nice colored design like that, which you can resize and modify, and of course apply multiple times. Well, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials about Illustrator, Photoshop, Finity Photo, and many other applications. Also, if you've got any questions, please put them in the comments. Always, always nice to have some comments so I can always answer. And also a dislike or a like. Appreciated either way. Thank you much.